This is the end of the Colorado River here. It's where the Colorado River would meet the sea if so much water wasn't taken out upstream from here. There's a little bit of water in this tidal marsh, but we're mostly driving through an area that is dry. It's a pretty stark view of what are the environmental costs of taking so much water out of a river so that there is very little left for that river and for the ecosystem that depends on it. And then once it gets onto the Mexican side, most of that water, nearly all of it, is diverted into a system of large canals. And so what remains south of the border for miles and miles is just dry riverbed. What the science has been showing lately is that the higher temperatures with climate change are dramatically altering the watershed so that the same level of drought becomes much more severe because the landscape is drier, more evaporates off the landscape before it reaches the tributary streams and enters the river. So what the conservation groups have been doing, the people who work for those groups, they planted thousands of native trees. Even with a little bit of water, these environmental groups have been able to have real benefits for the ecosystem. Around 30 years ago, Sonoran Institute started putting its eyes in this region, in the Delta region, to find out what was wrong with the ecosystem and what could be done. What was wrong was that the river didn't have any water. So we started negotiating with other nonprofits and with binational governments to assign more water specifically for restoring the river. The water from the federal water deliveries is delivered through irrigation gates. Chausse is one of these gates and the water is gonna continue flowing south all the way until it reaches the ocean. Esta compuerta central tiene capacidad de aproximadamente 2,000 litros por segundo, en la cual ahorita estamos descargando 1,250, 1,300 litros aproximadamente. El objetivo de, de descargar agua al, al río es que logremos la, longi, la conectividad longitudinal del río. Y ahora este flujo que está siendo simulando como originalmente venían, están permitiendo que haya una reproducción de la En donde hay, donde normalmente no hay aves, había muchas aves que normalmente no había, ¿no? Vimos mayor actividad del castor. We are restoring the, the natural cycle, basically bringing life to, to the delta. This is um, the place where the river water and sea water meets when there's high tides. So this is a really dynamic environment. We have a lot of bird species that are dependent on this environment. It's a um, nursery site for most of the fish species that live in the Colorado River. We have seen larger sizes of silver mullets and, and more abundance of this species. Also, we have seen some improvements on some crustaceans. Recently, we have seen more abundance of uh, the Delta mud sucker, that is endemic species of the Colorado River Delta. This is a great success. This is less than 1% of what used to be here 100 years ago. So with this 1% of water that we're getting, we have been able to restore hundreds of acres of riparian forest in the last 10 years. Building this green corridor along the Colorado River Delta in Mexico, connecting the river and the estuary ecosystems. We are showing people that it's possible to restore nature with a lot of will, a lot of work from scientists and the communities.